Hello everybody, today we're gonna talk about the agents. So that video is not about what kind of abilities do the agents have, how you have to use them. Here I just want to talk about more uh, and answer the question that everybody is asking me. What you have to start playing, how you have to improve in Valorant. So you will see everything in that video. Let's start talking about what kind of agents are the most easiest to start playing in Valorant. So we have four ways of playing, so Sentinels, Duelists, the other ones, Controllers. So it doesn't matter actually, I'll just start... I, I, actually, that all of that things you can try to find in the uh, internet or something like this. Here I just uh, will try to explain you what kind of agents is the most easiest and uh, why do you have to start playing that. First thing that I'm gonna say, I'm just saying that all the time, if people and somebody ask me uh, how should I start understanding the game and what kind of agents should I start playing, just play every one of them, just try everyone, you'll understand how the ability is working, you'll understand how to play against that abilities. After that, after that I'm starting to explain what kind of agents are much uh, easier to continue playing. It's 100% uh, duelist. This one, this one, uh, Phoenix, uh, super easy agent, but not usable. This one, and Neon, and uh, but Yoru is hard. So this one, this one, and this one is the much easiest agent. Of course, we have a Chamber right now. Chamber is much easiest agent as well. So. If you want to grow up in the ranked game super fast and you have really good aim, just play on these agents, like four agents, and that's gonna be pretty enough, I'm pretty sure. But uh, if you want to understand the game deeper and you want to learn something else, because on uh, these four agents it's more about just aiming and trying to feel yourself confident i mean on other agents you can feel yourself confident as well but on other agents you have another job as well so what a second stage of uh, usable agent and the easiest one so the hardest i have three stages i will say the third stage right now the rest going to the second stage the hardest one that's going to be astra 100% that's gonna be Cypher uh, actually I'm not gonna talk about Fade right now but I'm still thinking that Agent is pretty OP with her abilities and I'll put her at second stage uh, Viper is pretty hard as well and uh, in my opinion K and Breach uh, pretty hard agents as well even we're gonna talk about Ranked and of course in uh, uh, team play as well. So why do I uh, actually Sova? We can talk about Sova. Uh, actually, sorry, I forgot about that. Sova we can uh, put as well because on that agent it's a lot of depends from the situation. So Sova you have to understand what's going on on map. Viper, it's a pretty hard sentinel. You don't have uh, any traps like you have on another agent. With that kind of sentinel, you have to understand what even going on the map so from where they can go how you can use your mollies how you have to play with your toxin on k you have to normally take a fight you have to normally take info for your mates like on sova you have to understand why do you take that info for your mates on bridge actually uh, that agent is more about how to retake sides for ct side and how to normally go in attack how to normally take control of uh, some sides so how to use ability for your duelist how to help them so it's full supporter and astra of course it's supporter as well so as you can see uh, why did i say that agent is uh, more uh, supporter is much harder so because on that agents you have to understand more what just happening in game you're not thinking only about how to aim you're just thinking how to what going on on map where is the free zones and what you have to do with that free zones on duelist you're just going and destroying everybody just headshots everybody but if you are playing a duelist you have to understand one thing one thing you don't have to play duelist like uh, 
I don't like that words actually, but no brain. You have to understand why you do that moves. Why you do that risky move? Why are you trying to take control of that zone? Why are you trying to why are you asking for that abilities from your support or something like this? So that's the main point for do this as for me. But for a supporter, you have to understand why do you give that ability. That much harder. Because uh, sometimes it's a lot of situations and it's super hard to predict what kind of ability you have to give. Why did you give that? Maybe you had to save it for the uh, 10 seconds more or something like this. And uh, the main problem is that you will have one game and in that game you will have like... 50 or even more situations and you all the time have to deal with them and if you're gonna like uh, win 40 of them you will be already super good so that's what that's my opinion about that agents so i can talk a lot i can talk like 20 30 minutes but like i said before if you want to improve yourself instead to get a uh, very good rank in ranked game just play race rain a chamber or jet and you against uh, you'll just uh, super fast improve in ranked games but you have to play other agents as well just to understand what you can do with them and what you can do against them as well so how is the drone working how is omens abilities working how is the other agents abilities working so and how the opponents can play against you. Yeah, of course, maybe you don't want to play them and you are watching some pro players demos, some pro matches. That's going to be helpful for sure. But uh, that video was the most agents to play. Like I said, Raze, Rainer, Chamber and Cypher. Uh, I'm so sorry. Waiting for Cypher buff. Uh, Chamber, Raze, Rainer and Jet. The most easiest one. The other ones is uh, much harder. Phoenix is not harder, but uh, who's playing Phoenix right now, really? So, Killjoy is uh, pretty easy as well, but this four is much easier as for me, and uh, you can do a lot of job with them on ranked game. I think, and uh, in that video, I'm just talking how to improve yourself when you are trying first your Valorant games, when you are just uh, trying to understand what is going on in that game. Just like I said, if you just started playing the game, play every agent, after that you'll feel what is going to be much comfortable for you. So I hope that video was helpful. I'm just trying to do that kind of content that it's uh, not, you know... Uh, it's not the same thing like a lot of uh, people doing. I'm just trying to talk to that, to that things from the my viewing, how do the pro players see that. So. All this, I'm saying that thing in my video, I could be wrong, it's only my opinion, you don't have to follow it. But I hope that was helpful, don't forget to follow my socials and thank you for watching, bye bye.